yes, surprise, surprise, we are back! <laughs> and believe me, we've got some fabulous surprises for you tonight. Now, let's have a look at you. Oh, look at those smiling faces out there. <laughs> have you all won the lottery or something? No. no, neither have I. I do it every week. I have not won a sausage. <laughs> what about these numbers, then? 26, 11, 8, 1, 7. Now, those numbers mean an awful lot to someone in our audience tonight. And surprise, surprise, it's you, Ernest Manley. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, my little Chucky Ed. Come down here and join me, sweetheart. Come on, Ernest. This is a surprise, isn't it, Chuck? It is. A, a very big surprise. A, a, a big, a big surprise. <laughs> because those numbers I mentioned there, they were all your old army numbers, is that correct? Yes, right. So you were in, you were in the Grenadier Guards, yes. a, a guardsman in that. Yes. Now, you, you're probably wondering how I know all about this. Because your dear son wrote and told me, that's why. And he's with you tonight, <laughs> yes, your Phil, out there. <laughs> <laughs> He wrote a marvellous letter, I have to say, Ernest, telling me all about you. And he says that, you know, your proudest moment, one of them must have been when you took part in the Trooping of the Colour over 60 years ago <laughs> for King George V. Is that right? Yes. You enjoyed that day? Oh, yes. And I believe ever since then you've been desperately trying to get tickets to see the Trooping of the Colour. But yes. you can never find the time and you can never get the tickets. That's more important. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Well, yes. surprise, surprise. We have got some tickets for you to see the Trooping of the Colour. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> and here to present them to you, that very special invitation, are the Grenadier Guards themselves. Here is Sergeant Nick Taswell and the Grenadier Guards. So, attention! <laughs> Isn't that lovely? And this is Sergeant Nick Taswell there. Oh, look, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> you must give me the name of your hairdresser. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now, Sergeant Nick, you've got a very special invitation I for our hairdresser. So. Sir, on behalf of the regiment, please kindly accept these four tickets for this year's Trooping of the Colour, sir. Oh, thank you very much. That's quite ah. right, sir. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Not it, Ernest. That's not it. We've got another little surprise, haven't we, Nick? We have indeed, sir. Look, also, sir, we have these photographs shown you in 1932 with the 1st Battalion in Egypt, sir. Also, we have the original copy of your discharge book from 1936, sir. Oh, oh, <laughs> Can I also I tell you? Uh, uh, well, we're glad that you're happy, yes, and it's yes. about time. 60 years is a long yes, time yes, not to see yes, the Trooping of yes, the Colour. Yes. And I hope you enjoy it. I know you will. I will. God bless you, Ernest. Yes. Quit it yes. is about <laughs> to quick march! Well, now, our next surprise is for somebody 
Hang on, hang on. Someone's caught me eye of that. Hang on. Sweetheart, sweetheart, love. You're late, aren't you, sweetheart? Am I? Yes, you chug up there in the green jacket. You're late. What's your name? Jim. Jim, Jim what? Nicholson. Jim Nicholson, you're late. Have you brought a note? <laughs> <laughs> No, I haven't. I'm sorry, no. Yeah, well, I think you'd better come down here and explain yourself on the Scylla sofa, all right? Come down <laughs> here, Jim. <laughs> Jim, have a sit down there. Or should I call you Jimbo? You can come what you like. Really. <laughs> well, you like the name Top Banana, really. Top Banana. Top Banana, because you keep going on about Top Banana, because I know an awful lot about you. I really do. <laughs> now, you are a teacher. Yes. And that's why I asked you, have you brought a note? Because that's probably what you say to your kids at school in Melton Mowbray. Melton Mowbray, yes. Now, I believe you've been banging on to your kids, saying, oh, if I had my time over again, I would have loved to have been a professional dancer on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> is that right, Jim? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, tell me all about it. It was all your kids at your school. Well, now's your chance. Surprise, surprise, you are going to be a fabulous tap dancer on tonight's show. Isn't that wonderful? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got all the gear for you. Have you? Yes, I've Suit. got... I'm no well for a start. I've got these. Yes. We have these made especially by Camelards. I hope you. <laughs> All right, because you've got big feet. So there you go. There are your tap right, shoes. You. We've also got a lot of dancers for you. And you know these dancers very well because, you? yes, because you tap dance with them at the local dance troupe. The, yes, the Trevon dance troupe. Here they are. Come on, girls. <laughs> Jim, every great dancer needs a great dancing partner. Yeah. They do. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. We have pulled out all the stops for you tonight. Have you? Yes. We've got a super lady with the most legendary legs on television to dance with you. Here she is, the fabulous Miss Angela Rippon. Come in, Angela. <laughs> I wouldn't bother Sorry. sitting down. You've got work to do. Don't bother no. sitting down. You've got work to do. I haven't got time for that. So how about dancing with him in a size 11? He's, well, yeah, I'll have to watch my feet, won't I, with a size 11? But he's nice and tall, silly. You didn't tell him. Tell me he was nice and tall. He like is this. tall. He's, he's a, a tall, tall boy. He's a tall boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, are you going to put him through his paces? Well, yes. Brian Rogers is our choreographer. Right. We've got the dancers over there, and yes. we've got a really smashing little routine that we're going to work on with you. Smashing. So get your dancing shoes on. Right. Yes. All right, you ready for this? Oh, yes. Well, we can't wait. <laughs> you guys have already said all my... Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> we <laughs> shall see you both later. Yeah, I'll see could, you later. We could be the new team, couldn't we? You could. It's yes. very exciting. I can yes. just see it now. After Margot Fontaine... Fred and, and Ginge. Yes, Fred, Fred and Ginge. Ginge. And now, Angela and, and Jim. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Trips off the tongue, doesn't it? Does, really, yes. We shall see you both later. Ladies and gentlemen, Angela Rippon and Jim and Nicholson. <laughs> the day January the 8th mean anything to you? Well, it does if you're an Elvis fan, because that's the King's birthday. And believe it or not, this year, he would have been 60. Makes you feel old, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it makes me feel old. <laughs> well, we all love Elvis, but no one loves him more than Paul Trowbridge, who lives in Isleworth. Now, Paul's friends, Kim and Jane, wrote to us about Paul, and they said he looks just like Elvis, and what's more, he sounds just like him too. And his burning ambition is to visit Graceland, Elvis's home. Well, we sent Shane Ritchie along to Paul's house at the crack of dawn so he could wake up Paul with the surprise of his life. Hi, Silla, we're about to give someone upstairs now. We've got to be very quiet, though. He's going to get the surprise of his life. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello, Paul. Paul. Oh, surprise, surprise. Silla has sent me here. Paul, how are you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> Paul, welcome. So, Priscilla has sent me here for a big surprise on you now. I can understand, looking around your room, you're a bit of a fan of who? Uh, certainly am, yeah. Oh, yeah. You nearly said Silla Black then, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know you look after kids, you need a bit of a, a good uh, all-round sport and a good Been lad. And also, that, yeah. You work at Butlins? Yeah, work at Butlins, yeah, six months. Really? Yeah. And probably. I understand you used to go down there and do all your Elvis impressions yeah. and all that. Listen, I've got a great idea. How do you fancy, you, right, getting up now, joining me, Bombing down to Bognor Regis, get all your mates down there. I'll get a load of my friends from the show and we'll come and watch you do a bit of Elvis. Fancy that? Yeah. Oh, pardon, <laughs> no, no, no. Let, let's cut all that. Let's cut all that. Let's get straight to the point. As you fancy, coming with me right now, getting dressed and going straight to Graceland's. No. <laughs> you, you think I'm joking, don't you? Yeah. You think I'm joking? Yeah. Paul, trust me, it's a big surprise, surprise. You are joining me, we're on our way to Graceland's. Right. Serious. You know I, mean? I don't think he's awake yet. Look, Elvis's house. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. Come oh, on. I believe it. I'm here. You're here? Yeah, we I'm are here. actually here. We have flown Paul thousands of miles here to Graceland. We are at that King's house himself. Look at that there. Absolutely brilliant. Should we go and yeah. have a look? Yeah. Great. Okay, let's go there. After you, sir. I've got a house like this. <laughs> I bet you that you let me be. You love me. Take me back. Well, Paul, do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a jungle room. Apparently, they recorded two albums there. Yeah? I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I don't want to be a tiger, cos tigers play too rough. I don't want to be a lion, cos lions ain't the kind you love enough. But as I want to be, you're terribly bad. Put a chain around my neck and leave me anywhere. Oh, let me be. Oh, let him be. Do you know, this is really interesting, you see, because out of all the pictures he'd done, photos, oil paintings, this was the only one he actually commissioned, you see. This was his favourite. Brilliant. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, here we are in probably the most famous street in Memphis. Yes, it's Bill Street, the home of country and blues. Now, the all important question is can Paul cut it live? He's been rehearsing the wiggle, he's been rehearsing the lip. But can he sing live? Let's go. Oh, you know, I can't wait. Come on, let's go and find out. Right then, will you please welcome from Isleworth, can he cut it live? Let's find out. Make some noise from London, England for the one and only Paul Trowbridge! <laughs>
Well, I think we ought to meet the boy, don't you? Yes. Yes. Come in, Paul. Come in, say hello to the gang out here. Everybody looks different on the certainly telly. Certainly do, certainly do. But he even looks better in real life, doesn't he, gang? Yes! yes. Gorgeous. Did you enjoy You must have enjoyed it. was the most fantastic time of my life. The time of your life. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I shed a little tear yeah, there when you were at yeah. Elvis's <laughs> graveside, yeah. though. That was yeah. very moving for you, certainly wasn't was. it? Certainly was. But it was just. Oh, my dream came true, you know. Uh, dream came true. Well, I'm going to make another dream come true because I've got a very special souvenir from Memphis, from Graceland for right. you. Yes, I know. I could see you looking at all the gold discs there. Yeah. So here's a special souvenir. And this is Elvis's gold disc for oh. Love Me Tender. Just oh, for you, Paul. Because you did his ever so proud. There you go. Thank you And the other day, I had a letter from Peter Wyatt. Now, he runs a firm of accountants up there in Birmingham. And they're all working late tonight. And there they are. Look at that. Now, he told me about one of his employees, Dawn Dodwell, who was slowly driving them all insane. So I'm going to phone them up now and sort it all out. All right? Here we go. Oh, it's ringing. Can you hear it? Yes. Good. Good, good evening, Peter Watt Accountants. Hello, is that you, Peter? It is. Well, it's Scylla here. Now, can you put me on to Dawn and don't say a word? I certainly will. If you can just hold the line. Thank you. Well, thank Dawn, you. Dawn, can you pick the phone up, please? Yeah, Hello? Hello, is that Dawn Dodwell? Yes, speaking. Well, surprise, surprise, it's Scylla here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. no. Oh, yes, it is. Now, if you look up, Dawn, to that screen, you can see me. <laughs> well, I can see you too, Dawn. In yeah. fact, everyone can see you. The whole world can see you at this minute. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, your boss, Peter, has told me all about you. Yes. <laughs> And he's told me all about those pictures on your wall, Dawn. Who are they of? Um, Clive Mansell out of Casualty. Yes. Well, Peter told me that you drive them all mad going about. You go on about Clive all day long, is that right? <laughs> and you just about stick his picture anywhere. There's a space. I just got a new one tonight, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, listen, did you know I've got a picture of Clive Mantle here in the studio and it's personally signed to me, to Scylla, with love from oh, Clive Mantle. I haven't got that one. <laughs> oh, have you? Would you like to have that one? Oh, yes, please. Oh, well, surprise, surprise, Dawn, you can. You will have that picture any moment because we persuaded Clive to sign a special picture just for you. All right? Oh, great, thank you, yeah. Ah. And oh. we've, spent, we've sent it all the way up there to Birmingham by special messenger. In fact, it should arrive any minute now, Dawn. It's not arrived yet. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. Me in the direction of Dawn Dog, won't you? Oh. Thank you. Oh, this is very flattering. Thank you very much indeed. It's a bit of a wall, yes. Oh, Dawn. Actually, make more sense if they were facing the wall I, there. I have to sit down, actually. Oh. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might faint, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no good looking at me. I'm not a doctor. Oh, I can't, <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. 
Ay it made my year. Ay it made my life. <laughs> Lovely. Isn't it wonderful to be so well loved, Clive? It certainly is. It's very flattering and thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. But thank the you. burning question, I'm sure if she could ask it, we all want to know here. Everybody is asking, are you coming back to casualty? Yes, yes I am. It yes, here, oh, oh, it says so on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're about to start filming 24 new episodes, so uh, yes, I will be back. But if you'll just excuse me, Silla, I'd like to find out in private, if I may, a little bit more about Dawn's accountancy skills. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice excuse me, yeah, I know when you. I'm not wanted. Oh, <laughs> it's Dawn's you. day, Silla. Oh, oh, thanks a lot, amazing. Clive. Thank and you. Enjoy your heart throb, Dawn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and well goodbye to Rodan. Ah, oh, look at that. Thank you, Clive. <laughs> To this, this will impress you. A Laura Dove lass and you're a Josie Melnick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Italian and it means, where is Mrs. Josie Melnick? <laughs> and there she is, surprise, surprise, Josie. Would you like to come and join me on the Silla sofa, please? <laughs> come on, Josie. Yes, bueno, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see you, Josie. Thank I mean, you. I have lovely to talk to you too. Ah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I have to talk. I have to converse with you in English because you know my Italiano is uh, right. un poquito, you un know. Poquito. No, no, no bueno. bueno. No bueno. <laughs> <laughs> but you are Italian, obviously, yes. Josie. And yes. I want to know because you've lived in this country for such a long time. Now, yes. when? When did you arrive in Britain? Uh, 1950. 1950? Yes. Well, why did you settle in Britain? I mean, lovely sunny Italy. Why did you I come like over it here? here? You love yeah, it here? Yeah, I like it. But is it true that you came over with your sister, your Ida? Yeah, my sister. Because she came and she married an Englishman, yes, is that right? That's right, yes. And while you were here, I mean, you met and married your lovely husband. Yes. Is that your husband? Is that Basil up there? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I know you always miss, you've got a big family, haven't you, back in this Italy? Yeah. How many in the family? Oh, lots, a lot. I can't tell you how many. I know. We know that. And I would dearly love to say, here are your family. Right. Well, they're not. No, I can't say that. <laughs> There's too many to bring over, but we have gone one better. Because we are sending you, Basil, as well on a special holiday just to visit your family after 21 years. All right, Josie, oh. that right? You're going over there. You're going over there. All right, sweetheart. And there's more. And there's more. And here to deliver those very special airline tickets. You haven't seen him for over 21 years. It's your dear brother, Vincenzo. No. <laughs> Vincenzo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think, I think we'd better take a break there. But we'll see you in a couple of minutes, all right? Yeah. Bella! Bella! Arrivederci! <laughs> Well, now I feel like a chat. I feel a little chatette coming on. I really do. What's your name, sweetheart? Anne. Hello, Anne. And this lovely lady next door to you. What's Connie. your name? Connie. Now, where are you from? Plymouth. Plymouth. Now, you're not from Plymouth. I'm from Liverpool. You're from Liverpool, <laughs> yes. a fella scouser there. <laughs> well, you know, I was just going to say, Anne, you two look like a purr to do me. We? You do indeed. Do Yes. <laughs> now, I think you two have got something in common. Yeah, Maybe. <laughs> well, we shall find out when I take you both down on the Silla sofa. Come on, Annie. 
Come on, Connie. <laughs> Come on, Anne. Come on, girls. Connie, you sit next to Anne there. Now, I suppose, I suppose you're wondering what you two girls have in common with each other. I am. Well, shall we find out? Please. I mean, well, for instance, what month were you both born in? January. Mm. Oh, January. Well, there's a coincidence, <laughs> isn't it? We're cracking it now. And here's another coincidence. I happen to know that both you girls are besotted by a certain gorgeous singer who... Are, Actually, he comes from Liverpool. In fact, he was brought up in Devon Street, the same place where I'm you joking, lived. Joking, Frankie Vaughan. Yes, Horn. you adore him, don't oh, you? Oh, I love him. <laughs> and you, Anne? Yeah. Well, you'd leave your husband up there for <gasps> Frankie, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, according yeah, to your yeah, husband, you would. You would, because, I'll I mean... i anyone for him. You, <laughs> <laughs> you would absolutely adore Frankie. Well, you've got great taste. Now, is it true, Anne? You won't believe this, Connie. Is it true that when your first, you know, your ex-husband, when your divorce came through, he actually broke up all your records of Frankie Vaughan? Yes, he did. The swine. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you had stronger words for him then, though, didn't you? Definitely. Now, have you ever met Frankie in person? No. no. You've no. never? But you've been to see him, though, yes. singing in concert. And you absolutely do. Would you like to see him close I'd up? I'd love to. Because I believe <laughs> your dearest wish is for him to sing to you, oh, give, give me, me the, the moonlight. moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> well, surprise, surprise, oh, Connie God. and Anne, he's going to do just that. Here he is. Say hello. Meet and greet your idol, Mr. Frankie Vaughan. Come in, Frank. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Thank Oh, look at them. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> They're totally gobsmacked. Oh Two special girls. <laughs> They're absolutely <laughs> crazy uh, about you. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've still got that pulling power, Frankie. <laughs> Well, they're absolutely nice? crazy about you, and mm. especially Anne is desperate to hear you sing one more time, Give Me the Moonlight. Oh. Would you do that? <laughs> My pleasure. Oh, well, we shall sit down on the sofa and really enjoy it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Frankie Walsh. Thank you. Thank you. I never worry if a girl is bashful or if a girl is shy. I never worry if she has that. Don't you dare to kiss me in her. Oh. <laughs> I never worry when I need some loving. I know just what to try. You may wonder what I do. There's nothing strange about it. Here is all I ask of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Give me the moonlight. Give me the girl. I'll be the rest. <laughs> Me. Give me a shady nook by a babbling brook when no one else can see. Give me a bench for two where we can fill and cool the mind. She's gonna be. Well, if there's anyone in doubt, 
And they like to try me out Give me the moonlight Or give me the girl And leave the rest <laughs> To me Give me the girl fans you've got they're all still there we're so pleased for you all the way through the song both the girls are saying oh he's gone <laughs> <Very She's, nice. laughs> stopped <laughs> you're so lucky to have such great fans i am i'm a lucky guy and you've also got the moonlight i got the moonlight Definitely. you've also got the girls yeah and leave the rest um. <laughs> 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 i leave the rest of me why not ladies on, and gentlemen guys. the great oh. frankie vaughan yeah. thanks Thank a lot <laughs> I've just noticed something. Remember when Josie met her brother, Vincenzo? Well, we sent them off to get together, and we left poor old Basil up there, Josie's husband. <laughs> You're all there on your tod, aren't you, Basil? Yeah. Well, come down here, I'll keep you company, Chuck. Come on, Basil. Oh, and two kisses. Yes. Two kisses. Wow, it's lovely to meet you down nice here to meet you too. on the stage. Well, I wonder how I wonder how your Josie and Vincenzo are getting on. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> no. Shall we go and find out? Yes. Yes. You'll talk amongst yourselves for a bit, won't you? Yes. yes. Come on, let's go and find yes. Josie yes. and Vincenzo. See you later. Josie, hello, Vincenzo. Hello. I've brought your husband Basil along. Because he was feeling left out. Say hello to Vincenzo. Isn't that lovely. Come lovely start. all to be together, Bye. isn't it? Bye. You sit down there, Basil, because I want to have a little chat to yes. you. No, I've had a chat to Josie. I'd like to have yes. a little chat to you. Now I noticed by your accent, you are not from Britain either, are you? No, no, I'm I'm uh, 
from East Europe, Ukraine. You're from the Ukraine? Yes. Well, I happen to know that during the war, when you were just 13, yeah. way back, oh, a long, long time long ago, time, yes. when the Germans invaded yes. your village, yes. I mean, they rounded up all the boys, yeah. didn't they, including all the men, Yes. and they literally carted you all off to oh, Germany. Yes. To Germany, forced labor. But slave labor? Yes. And there you stayed? Well, <laughs> you can't get away no way, you see. And you had no choice. No. But I know at this time you feared for all your family living back in the Ukraine. Well, uh, uh, I saw in my cousins, you see, I lost a brother and a sister, two brothers to a sister, mm -hmm. just cousin. Uh, well, I know but, after the war, when you were a refugee, you, yeah. you did get back to Britain. Yes, I can't. And is it true you actually met and married Josie? Yes, yes. Well, that must have been a beautiful time for you. Yes. But still, you, every day, there wasn't a day that went by without you thinking of your family. And oh, two yes. years ago, you had some amazing news, didn't yes. you? I mean, you, heard, you actually heard that it was your mother and your cousin, Vasil, that actually survived the war. Your, they were your closest living relatives at the yes. time. It, well, that must have been marvellous to hear that. But then well. you also heard back in the 1950s that your mum was very, very ill. Yes. And it was your cousin, Fazil, who actually nursed her till yes, she yes. eventually passed away. Yes. Now, it's over 50 years, isn't it, yes. since you've seen your cousin, Fazil? Yes. Well, surprise, surprise. Yes. You're going to see him again tonight. Yes. We've flown your cousin, Fazil, all the way over from the Ukraine just oh. to be with you. And here he is. Oh, I'm shook. Come in, Fazil. Say hello to your cousin Basil. Well, I think we better take a break there, but please join us after the break, where we'll have a big surprise for somebody only the viewers at home can see at this very Hi. moment. See you in a couple of minutes. Well, we're about to witness the debut of our tap dancing top banana, Jim Nicholson. Ladies and gentlemen, together with the girls of the Travon School of Dance, we present the new twosome of tap. It's Angela Rippon and Jim Nicholson. <laughs>
crossed over to Ireland with a very special surprise for 13-year-old Amanda Buckley. Let's hope she answers the door. Surprise, surprise, Amanda! <laughs> Come here, sweetheart. Sugar. <laughs> so, are you all right? Is it true, Amanda, you're absolutely crazy about the lovely Irish pop band Boys Own? Is it? Yeah. Is it also true that in your bedroom, on yeah. the walls, they are plastered with photographs of Boys Own? Well, this we've got to see. Uh, Follow us. <laughs> well, Amanda, you've really surpassed yourself here. This is fabulous. I mean, your room is literally <laughs> plastered with boys' own. By the way, who's your favourite? Steve. Steve. Which one's Steve, then? Oh, him. Oh, I can see what you like about him. <laughs> I notice there are twin beds in here. I mean, is it your sister who shares the room with you? No, it's my grannies. It's not your It's your grannies. Your granny shares the room with you. <laughs> <laughs> what does she think about Boys Own? She likes him. She likes him. <laughs> Shane. Shane? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Well, my goodness. Oh, uh, do you know, I think I can hear your door going. Oh, let's go and answer it. Come on. <laughs> you all right? Is this a nice surprise? Yeah. Now, which one's your favourite? Steve. I know you're looking at him. Oh, Steve, she doesn't want to talk about it. And all the boys there. Now, lads, you've got a very special surprise for our Amanda, haven't you? Yes, yes they're going to sing their new song, oh. just especially for you. Yeah. But we're not going to do it here, are we, lads? Nope, not yet. No, we're going to a very special place. So, do you want to lead the way, Steve? She's been talking about you all morning. <gasps> I'll have you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we are at Our Lady's Children's Hospital. Now, the children are expecting something, but they don't know what. So let's go and surprise them. Hello, everyone. <laughs> well, boys and girls, oh, what a lovely welcome. Boys and girls, I've got a surprise for you today. In fact, I've got five surprises for you today. Yes. A few clues. They're gorgeous. The boys. <laughs> and they are the fabulous Boy Zone. Come here. Boys are here today to sing their brand new song, aren't you, lads? Yep. yep. Yes. What's it called? It's called Key to My Life. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> See them. <really. laughs> You're the key to my life. Rain all the wind out, covers the trace. Of all the tears that I've had to waste And now I'm missing you so And I won't let you go away Staying on the desktop where coffee could play And memories of you forever will stay And the sound of your perfume and the smile on your face will remain And I never gave up hope When things got me down But I just spit on my lip And my face began to frown Because that was just my pride And I've nothing left to hide And now the way is clear
say a very big thank you to everybody at the hospital. All the nurses and the children were wonderful. And talking about wonderful, there is a lady in our audience tonight who's got an absolutely wonderful story to tell us all. And surprise, surprise, yes, it's you, Jennifer Gillette. Where are you, Jennifer? Where are you, sweetheart? Jennifer, please come and join me on the Scylla sofa. There she is. I have to say, Jennifer, your story is a very sad, very sad story, very yes. moving one. And I'd love to share it with everybody out there, of me. Now, you were born towards the end of the war. That's right. And your father was an American serviceman. Yes, everyone. But sadly, your dad died before he could marry your mum, Margaret, yes, didn't he? Yes, that's right. And when you were just 18 months old, your mum became very, very ill and she had to go into the hospital, didn't she? Yes, that's right. Now, I can't quite believe this because your grandmother, your mum's mum, disapproved of the relationship that's with your right. dad. That's right. At 18 months old, your grandmother, without your mum's consent, had you adopted. That's right. Is that right? That's right, yeah. So your mum came out of hospital that's right. and was totally devastated. That's right. She didn't know where you were. Well, eventually, your mother did marry again, and, in fact, she did go to America and settle down there. Yes, that's right. Well, I know, Jennifer, just a couple of years ago, in all your life, you've wondered where your mum was and what was she, she was like. Yes. Is it true you put an advert on the teletext? Yes, that's right, yeah. And as luck would have it, a very distant relative of your mum saw the teletext... That's right, yes. ..and was able to put you in touch with your mum yes. in America. Yes, that's right. Well, that first phone call must have been incredible. I can't describe it. It was something I never thought I'd have. And um, to hear a voice, it was, oh, it was wonderful. I can't describe to you really how I felt. Um, Over the moon. That's it. It's the only word I can describe it. And ever since then, of course, you've become great friends. Yes, we've, we have quite big phone bills. <laughs> And you ra you've not really met face to face. Well, you haven't met face to face. No. And you never saw her from the day you were 18 months no, old. No, no. I've only seen a photograph of her um, when I found her um, just over about 18 months ago. Well, surprise, surprise, Jennifer, you're going to meet your mum now. Because we've flown her all the way over from America just to be with her little girl tonight. Here she is. Come in, mum. Say hello to your daughter. Here she is, Jennifer. <laughs> That's all we have time for this week, I'm afraid, but I'd like to say a very big thank you to everyone who's taken part in tonight's show. The Grenadier Guards, Boys Own, Clive Mantle, Shane Ritchie, Angela Rippon and Frankie Vaughan. We'll be back with lots more surprises next week, so until then, hurrah